Hello everybody, it's Rose from Simples Emporium, and I've got another charm update for you. I've um, got a few new designs, so I'll kind of pick up where I left off last time, showing you the, the cupcakes. Um, so these right here were the previous design. I was using like the vanilla tops and um, then the frosting tops. So that was the that was the last design that I showed you in the previous video. And here is a newer design with chocolate chocolate cupcakes um, and I'm just kind of toying around with color combinations and how to put the eyes on. I've seen some folks do uh, white eyes on a dark background so I might try that next but I really like how these look already. Um, more cupcakes here. I went ahead and experimented with frosting by hand so I've got some uh, little blueberries on this guy on a vanilla top. And then just a plain vanilla top. I love how chubby his face is. And then a strawberry top. Or these are really bottoms, but you know, flip it over and it's the top. So we've got our upside down cupcakes. And then here's the latest. I'm doing strawberry cake cupcakes. Um, I love how the little cane turned out. Uh, little strawberry slices. It looks like they're kind of nibbling on them. I love how that looks. And um, these I'm keeping pretty simple. I'm not going to toy around with color combinations because that's a very particular pink. Um, and I just really like how kind of simple the dual tone is. So I'm going to stick with that. And this one's, these aren't really charms. They're more cabochons. Um, I made some little BB-8s. They're a little bit messy because I don't, I'm still learning to paint onto polymer clay, but I really like how these turned out. Um, they're flat backs, so I'm probably going to put them on earring studs. And let's see here. I've got a new design that I've been toying around with. Campers. So vintage camper trailers are some of my favorite things ever. Um, and I, I love them. They're canned hams is uh, one of the terms that I, I really love using. Um, so I just played around with some different metallic kind of colors, some different designs, and then this one would be specifically a Shasta, which is my one of my favorites with the wing motif on it. I'm loving those little guys. I played around a little bit more with the Face Beast theme that I was doing. Um, face Beast, here's the original for comparison. Um, and I've been doing just kind of like... My friend calls these mullet beasts because <laughs> their tail kind of looks like a mullet. Um, but I really enjoyed making these. I love the colors that I managed to get with them. And um, then just the general shape. And then here is my last design that I'm probably going to be sticking to a lot. So let me know if you have any recommendations for colors or anything in particular. Um, these little imps. And I made some of these holding stones, with this one being kind of like pyrite and then fire kind of elemental theme. And then this one was more watery, with some like fuchsia pink, and then this aquamarine color, holding um, fire crab agate. I love how the hair turned out on this one. Got a little detail on the back. And then I made a garnet gargoyle. Probably, this one may actually be my favorite, even though I love the colors on these two. I just love how the body turned out. And then I gave him some little, like, stony cracks on his back. And then his little, his little ram horns turned out really, really well. And then this one, I did something a little bit different. Um, he may not come up as well on camera because he's so shiny. Um, he's almost got, like, a mirror finish on him. And I made this one with Kato clay, which is fabulous. I loved it. Um, these, this one, I kind of pinned his arms and legs in, kind of like an old-fashioned doll. Um, so he looks a little bit different. Um, but I love how he turned out. He's, if you can see, he's got a little bit of metallic purple in his ears. And then I just kind of free-handed some pretty on the back there. But yeah, I love how he turned out. Really, really shiny. Um, so I'm going to be making a bunch in this kind of theme here. 
So let me know if you've got any color combinations that you'd like to see. I'm happy to take commissions for this shape. Uh, so just let me know. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned.